Welcome back to Terminology Tuesday. Last week we learned that there are many different genera within the pine family, Pinaceae, that are native to North America. But here in Florida, the only native members of that family are the pines in the genus Pinus. Seven species of pine are recognized as native to Florida. We have sand pine, Pinus plaza, spruce pine, Pinus calibra, longleaf pine, Pinus palustris, shortleaf pine, Pinus echinata, loblolly pine, Pinus tata, slash pine, Pinus eliotii, and pond pine, Pinus serratina. Many botanists now also recognize an eighth species of pine native to Florida, South Florida slash pine, Pinus densa. The species was once treated as a variety of slash pine, Pinus eliotii, and new evidence shows that it is likely more distinct and deserving of its own rank as a species. Being able to correctly identify all eight of these Florida native pines is actually rather difficult even for seasoned botanists, but there are a few clues that you'll need to pay attention to in order to differentiate between them. The first is habitat, what type of soil and what type of environment is the species occurring in? Is it wet lowlands, very dry sandy uplands, etc.? The other ones are the bark, the texture of the bark, the color of the bark, the size of the bark plate, the shape, size, and color of its cones, as well as the length of the needles and the number of needles held in each bundle. So each bundle of pine needles is called a fascicle. This is one fascicle. And in this species, there are three needle needles per fascicle. The number of needles per fascicle is key to identifying which pine species you have. Also, the texture and color of the twigs is important. That's it for today, and I'll see you guys again next week.